Okay, this is a guided um, solution to the practice problem on RMS versus peak voltage, current, and power. So let's take a look at this problem. We are told that an alternating voltage power source provides power for a motor. The alternating voltage graph is shown below and an ammeter measures the current to be 1.2 amps. We're reminded here that ammeters always give the RMS value. So really we are given 1.2 amps is the RMS current. And then down here in a graph, we have time on the x-axis in milliseconds and voltage on the y-axis in volts. So part one of this question asks us to state or calculate the peak voltage and the peak current. I'm going to start off with voltage since we're given a voltage time graph. We can simply look at the highest or lowest most voltage. So I'll zoom in here on the highest and it looks like it lines up right with this line. I'll label this V naught. V sub zero standing for our peak voltage or our maximum voltage. And I'm noticing here that each box doesn't necessarily correspond to just one volt. So between zero and five, I have four boxes, but I have five numbers. So that must mean that each box is 1.25. That means that my peak voltage then would be 6.25, this line right here, coming over to our maximum. So I'll record that below we found that our peak voltage is 6.25 volts, and we found that simply from the graph itself. Next up, we're also asked to find the peak current, or the maximum current. Now we are given the IRMS as 1.2 amps, and so I'm going to use that um, RMS current in order to find my peak current. Just a reminder that the RMS current is equal to the peak current divided by the square root of 2. So rearranging that, we can find our peak current is the square root of 2 times the RMS current. Plugging in our values here, and that comes out to be 1.70 amps. So we've now found our max or our peak voltage and our max or our peak current. Part two of this question is gonna ask us to calculate the RMS voltage. Now that should be pretty easy because in the previous problem we found the peak voltage. So as a reminder, the RMS voltage is equal to the peak voltage divided by the square root of two. Plugging in our peak voltage from before, this comes out to be 4.42 volts. I'll work across to number three then. Number three is asking us to calculate the average power. We sometimes denote this as a P with a line over it. You could also write P average. We know that P average is equal to IRMS, kind of like the average current, and VRMS. And I've chosen this equation because I already know IRMS, that's the 1.2 amps that I was given, and I just solved for VRMS in part two. So my average power comes out to be 5.31 watts. Last but not least, in number four, we are asked to calculate the peak power or the maximum power. Now I know that the peak power or the maximum power is going to be equal to my peak current and my peak voltage multiplied together. My peak current from number one was 1.70. My peak voltage also from number one, read off the graph, was 6.25. And that should come out to be about 10.625 watts. This is also a great time to use our other equation um, involving maximum or peak power to double check our work. 
The other equation that I'm referring to is that the average power is equal to the maximum power divided by 2. Or we could rearrange this to see that the maximum power would be 2 times our average power. And that average power being the 5.31 that we just found in part 3 of this problem. Multiplying that out, it comes out to be 10.62 watts, which within rounding error, because I did round a little when I calculated 5.31, these are indeed the same.